everybody, my name is Dr. Mackenzie Servini and today we are with baby Henry who is seven weeks old. We are going to be doing a new infant exam on him today. Um, yeah, he is so cute and happy and healthy. I've already communicated with his mom and we addressed any concerns or questions that she may have. And so we're gonna get started. So the first thing that I usually do is make sure that baby is comfortable on the table. He looks really good and I'm seeing, is his head tilted one way? Is his head rotated one way? Does he have a high shoulder? Are his hips turned? So I can automatically see the first thing that I noticed are his hips are a little bit more turned towards the right. So we're gonna address that today. He's so cute with this little hat. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay, so we're just gonna kind of level him out. And I'm gonna first start with range of motion. So I'm gonna be feeling his shoulders, making sure those are moving okay. Hi. You can come stand over here too if you want so he can see you. He doesn't always wanna move his arms. What? He doesn't always wanna move his arms. Okay, well we're gonna take a look. Let's see, let's move your arms. So we're making sure that they feel symmetrical and that they're gliding okay. We're gonna check his elbows, hands, wrists, and we're gonna do the grip reflex to make sure that he grips properly. Good job, Henry. The next thing I'm gonna check are his hips. So here is very important because we're screening for any sort of hip dysplasia. Hip dysplasia is gonna be kind of a clunk or a clicking noise within the actual hip. Sometimes you'll get a click in the knees. That's totally normal. But we do recommend if you do feel a clunk either in the hips or the knees to bring baby in so that I can tell is it coming from the hips or the knees because sometimes it's a little bit hard to tell. Good job, buddy. So his feel really, really good. No problems there. And I'm gonna come down to his feet. Let's see. So here I'm gonna do the Babinski reflex. Oop. I know, I know. So in babies it's normal for toes to splay out. In babies under the age of two, the Babinski reflex is testing for any sort of neurological issue in the central nervous system. So he looks really good. You look good. Happy boy. Happy boy. <laughs> so next I'm gonna check his diaphragm. The diaphragm is one of the muscles that is most controlled during breathing. So I'm just making sure that there's no like scar tissue or adhesions there that would cause him to not be able to get enough oxygen in. Yes. Yes, you're being a good boy. So good. Then I'm gonna come down to his sacrum. So the sacrum is the bottom of the spine. So right here I'm checking for is one side of the sacrum a little bit higher or a little bit lower? Is either the right or left a little bit tilted one way or the other? So him, his right is a little bit higher so I'm just gonna hold a little bit of pressure there. A baby adjustment is very different than an adult adjustment. With a baby, I'm holding sustained pressure in an area that I want the bone to move, the bone or the joint. It's the same pressure that you would use to test the ripeness of an avocado, if you're from here in California, or to test the ripeness of a tomato, if you're from my hometown of Leamington, Ontario, where we have a tons of tomatoes. So I'm just holding that there and waiting, it for, waiting for it to release. While I'm here, I'll also tuck his tailbone. That feels okay. Yeah, I'm also gonna check his dural tone. So there's a dura which wraps around the spinal cord. And I'm just gonna do a little twist and see if his shoulders come off of the table. Good boy, Henry. So this side's just a little bit harder for him to twist. So I'm just gonna hold him in this position. And this is something that you can also do at home with him, these twisting motions. And you wanna make sure that his shoulder blades aren't coming off of the table. Good boy. Let's put the other side. Yeah. Good boy. He's trying to find his thumb. Here. Here. There you go. 
I'll just put his socks here. So now I'm gonna pick him up and we're gonna flip him around and I'm gonna check and see how his thoracic spine is feeling. Oh, look at him. Yeah. So I'm just gonna drape him over across on my knee right here. Yeah. gonna feel so right here it feels a little tight so I'm gonna bring him back over good boy and I'm gonna adjust him right there okay mm -hmm. has he been having any reflux spitting up um only when he's uh purposely overeating. okay yeah so you can see right here he doesn't really like when I'm touching this spot mm -hmm. it's a little bit tight for him yeah. you okay I know is that a tough spot? I know. I know. Okay. Good. That was good. That's it. And I'm going to flip him around. Yeah, that's your mom. I'm going to also do just take off his little bonnet here. So I'm also going to check um, now his cervical spine, so his neck. But I'm also going to check his TMJ. I'm going to check his cranial sutures. Um, I'm going to check and see if he has any tongue ties or lip ties. Good boy, Henry. He's a big boy. <laughs> so healthy. He's falling asleep. <laughs> Yeah. And how is he doing with latching? Um, pretty good. Pretty good? Yeah. He can get kind of distracted during the day. At night, he's really productive. Okay. Good boy, Henry. Um, and then gags every time there's a bottle or a nookie. He does. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's see. I'm going to just test and see what's going on inside his mouth. Let's see, Henry. Bless you. Bless you. Let me see. So I'm checking for a tongue tie, lip tie on the top and the bottom. He feels okay. And then I'm going to check his TMJ muscles. So I'm feeling for the lateral medial pterygoid muscles, masseter temporalis. And when those are tight, when he's latching, it's sometimes hard for him to get a, a good latch. Yeah, we're just gonna be holding on there. That feels okay. Let me see. This palate feels okay too. Now let me feel your cranial bones here. So sometimes when there's a short palate, it makes it a little bit harder for. It makes the gag reflex a little bit harder, like mm -hmm. more prominent. Mm -hmm. But his feels okay. Yeah, Henry. And he's got a good latch as well. So I'm just tractioning up. right here on the right yeah you're doing so good you're doing so good just a little bit more hold perfect okay let me see He's so good. Let me check down here one more time. Good. Perfect. Okay, he's all set.
<laughs> and that concludes our new infant exam. Henry did so good, he feels good, and now I'm gonna address any questions that his mom has.